Hey there. So today I'm going to talk about uh, three important security terms that will come up on any type of security awareness training you take or, or IT security course or cybersecurity course, and that is vulnerability, threat, and risk. Right? And and they all, you know, they all go together. People kind of use these terms interchangeably sometimes, but they do have specific meanings. So we're going to talk about you know, what those are. And if you are studying for an exam and you got to know these, or a job interview and you got to know these, it's it, there's a really simple, really simple way to think of it. So let me start off with that really simple way. Um, vulnerabilities, which are weaknesses in a system, can be exploited by threats and the risk is the likelihood that that will happen and how bad it will get. That's it. <laughs> All right, so let's expand on that just a little bit more. So like I said, a vulnerability is a weakness in a system, right? And it could be any kind of weakness. It could be a weakness in the way the process works. Maybe there's a way to circumvent the process or make the process trip up or, or do something. Um, it could be on the platform, if it's an application, if that that's running on. Maybe you have an application running on Linux and that Linux platform is unpatched and there could be a vulnerability there. Well, there you go. Or it could be the application itself. Um, maybe the application doesn't, uh, doesn't parse its input correctly or maybe you can make the application do weird things by giving it weird input. Uh, it's, that's called fuzzing actually when you give an application stuff that you know it shouldn't really expect. Um, so a vulnerability, just a weakness in a system of some kind, doesn't have to be technical. Like I said, it could be functional in a process, uh, but just some kind of weakness in a system. Now, a bad guy, a threat agent, um, is going to look at that system and see the vulnerability, or hopefully not see, but they probably will see the vulnerability, and they're going to think about how they can exploit that vulnerability into something that they can get to do what they want. Right? Maybe they want to access that particular operating system. Well, if it's unpatched, maybe that's a way for them to do that. Maybe they want to trip up the application in some way. Well, maybe they know if they send it a certain sequence of characters or input, the application will go funky and, and they'll get what they want. So bad guys just, they look at the vulnerabilities and they try to figure out ways to exploit them. Now, risk is the likelihood that the bad guy is going to do that you know, uh, try to exploit the vulnerability and how bad it can be if they do that and are successful. That Those are the three components, that's it. Now, if you kind of expand out a little bit, um, how do you deal with the bad guys that are threatening your, your systems with, and vulnerabilities they're looking to exploit? Well, you put in a control or a countermeasure. And a control is this something that either uh, eliminates or reduces um, the risk to an acceptable level, right? So uh, an example might be, um, you know, a hacker might want to try to trip up an application and so they're going to fuzz it with a whole bunch of weird input and put stuff at it. Well, if the application can parse the input properly and reject stuff that it should not expect, well, hey, that's a, that's been a control that's been put in that application to help eliminate the risk of it being exploited, right? Um, if, uh, if the application is running on a platform, the platform is unpatched, the Linux platform that I gave the example of earlier, well, we patched the platform, patched the operating system, make sure it's up to date. Hey, that mitigates the risk of that vulner vulnerability being exploited, right? So it's important because every individual or organization has assets, right? And an asset is just something that's important, right? Asset could be property, it could be information, it could be a process. Asset is something, asset, asset is <laughs> something that's important that we need to protect, right? So, so that's it. That's it's really easy. Um, you know, uh, threat agents exploit vulnerabilities, and the risk is the likelihood and the impact if they're going to do that. Really simple. And uh, so, if you get asked that in a job interview, that's that's the crux of it. That's it. And uh, and the elevator answer is always a good one because you can always get a lot deeper and and go into a lot more further examples, but you know, short, sweet, to the point, that's always a good response. All right, well, I hope that was uh, interesting or entertaining or at least useful to you. Have a great weekend.